Hey y'all, so as most of you know, as some of you know, as one of you might know, I might have told someone at one point, I live in Jacksonville, Florida most of the time, which is why you see a lot of beach stuff, because it is a coastal town, and I do quite a bit of traveling to play music, uh, mostly in Florida and Georgia and Tennessee a little bit. But today, we are in Beaver Dam, Ohio, on, this is my granddad's house. This is my granddad's farm. That is my granddad's farm as well, I think. Sometimes, when the whole season hasn't been really rainy and wet, there's a lot of corn over there. Sometimes there's soybeans. And I have many a memory of walking up and down those fields and running in the corn. But anyway, a couple years ago, my dad decided to plant apples here on my granddad's farm. And so now we have this lovely apple orchard. And we have, how many acres? We got 10 acres and 200, 1,000, 1,000 trees. <laughs> Welcome to Sugar Creek Orchard, home of the apple tree. <laughs> We're in Beaver Dam, Ohio, picking up signs, doing some work. So wipe the sleep out of your eyes and take an apple. <laughs> Shake the dust off, grab a drink, <laughs> do a dance. Okay, welcome! Welcome to Beaver Dam, y'all! Oh, home of Sugar Creek Orchard. Home of the beavers and <laughs> creeks. <laughs> home of Sugar Creek Orchard. Yeah, they live here. <laughs> um, welcome to Beaver Dam, Ohio, y'all. Um, home of Sugar Creek Orchard, uh, which is my family's apple orchard. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if you're looking to marry you a doctor, stay away from apples. Um, so we have a saying here in Beaver Dam. What is the saying? <laughs> uh, so if you want to do something well. Uh, if you want to do something well, Beaver Dam it. Not just any kind of damn it, Beaver Dam it. She had a sorry little baby with the right top down. Sitting in the dryer, but she wouldn't get out. Dogs are all barking and a wagon around. I just laughed and said, hey, y'all get in. She had on a new dress and she curled her hair. She was looking too good not to go somewhere. Said, what you want to do, baby? I don't care. We can go to the show. We can stay right here and I'll take you for right hand side, Savannah. Yeah. On the right. Yes, on this side. Yeah, you're just in there that, because you don't want to set the alarm off. Do you remember what the code was? I guess. I, I assumed it was my, my, my birthday because I'm the only person in this family that matters. All right. This is a large, evergreen colored machine. And I'm gonna take you for a ride on it. We can make it go slow, make it go faster. Um, down to the woods or out through the pasture. As long as I'm with you, it, it really don't matter. But you matter. <laughs> Signs. 
in hot sunshine. Change, put on the tractor. Get around. Safety first, people. Put this. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. She's an expert on everything agricultural, oh, okay. yeah. and we're doing a documentary. Oh, uh, yes. So, so please explain this machine okay, to us. So Give us a tour. Is, I've had some questions. This right here is what we call a, a jingle blabber. <laughs> and, uh, the jingle yeah. blabber, so we use it to... Um, jingle the blabs? To, to blab the jingles, <laughs> and sometimes to jangle the blobbers. And, um, and this is what it does. So I, I feel like that's enough said. You, you find these things and um, it, it puts them all on a ball and then they, they, ship, they wrap that up and they ship it out to, uh, tell them. China. <laughs> China. <laughs> what? Goes the rabbit. Yeah, I see him. Run there, buddy. There he is. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> go, 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 go. He's not getting the hint. I always slow down for the rabbits. I don't run over them. Some guys just go 90 miles an hour and they don't care. You better go, buddy. Why <laughs> doesn't he want to leave? He just doesn't know what to do. So you spare the rabbits. What don't you spare? Um, what animal would be here and you just run right over? Oh no, where did he go? He was. He went way over there. I don't run over any animals if I know that they're there. Actually, I, I, I would kind of be saving them because um, the hawks would get them. The, oh. the hawks would fly around the field. They would know that you were harvesting wheat, and they would wait until you got the field down to where there was hardly any and then they would know, they had learned that all of these rabbits would run out of the field when you got the field down to nothing. And, uh, I didn't and think they, hawks were that smart. The hawks would catch them and by the time you'd make a round and come back, there wouldn't be anything left in the field but a little bit of fun. watching my YouTube channel. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to subscribe and uh, look out for the next video. Thank you so much for your support.